WA's COVID lockdowns kept most people at home, counting down to having freedom again. But for some seniors, leaving lockdown creates overwhelming anxiety that could take months, even years to control. Monica Cost has this special report. A year ago, the last thing on these seniors' minds was donning a face mask. The glasses fogging is a nightmare. Yeah. You feel as though you need wipers the whole time. Restricts my breathing and that sort of thing, and in particular my um, hearing aids. In fact, there's a lot more for them to worry about now. Their vulnerability to coronavirus, physical distancing, dealing with future outbreaks and the effectiveness and safety of a COVID vaccine. While these retirement village residents help each other pull through... we just come out the front of our driveway so that each could see that we were all OK. Many elderly are all alone, feeling stuck and anxious. Particularly a person, a neighbour next door, he had just lost his wife of 50 years and he was isolated. We had each other, but people by themselves, it very, very lonely. It's because we're in our comfort zones in our own homes, so the seniors start feeling not only lonely, but safer without without people around them. And it can lead to what's called agoraphobia, a condition which virtually makes them prisoners in their own homes. It almost feels like someone's having a heart attack because their heart's racing, you actually feel it pumping out of your chest. But Perth sufferers can overcome their fears, particularly the elderly, with the help of a GP or psychiatrist, meditation and mindfulness. It's you actually taking control and saying, hey, there's no threat in our environment. We can get on with it. And what your brain does is actually turns off the stress response and gets you back to a balanced state. Tailor-made approaches designed to rebuild confidence and give them the strength to tackle the outside world. Monica Koss, Nine News.